Okay, so now I'm just going to do it. This is only going to be a very quick video, but this is about the media part of the, the website. Okay, so your media, every time you add, a, add an image, a document, a, uh, anything to a post that's a, that's a media file, a video, a sound file, everything, it's stored in your media library. And you just click on here and then there's your library there. Okay, and you'll see that I've added some photos to a post. So you'll see it, it tells you where, that, where that's attached. Okay, um, and that's how basically all, all the all the media does. It, 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 you can add stuff to this library if you want to store some media on your site, like some documents and stuff like that that aren't viewable to people. Um, but if you, this is basically just where all the attachments are stored. So you can go back in there and see find something if you if you've lost it, and you can download it. Okay, I mean you can view that image. Just right click and view the image, and there you'll see that image. Okay. All right, um, and you can. Also, you can add new Im images or files, and it'll tell you here what's your maximum upload size. There are some ways you can increase the upload size, and we always do it for our clients up to probably 64 megabytes, because now people, you can attach videos to posts and stuff like that. But um, it, by default, it probably will be around about two, four, six, eight megabytes, depending on the, the server configuration. But there are ways to increase that through uh, the HD access file, the P PHP any file, and stuff like that. But anyway, you can just basically drag and drop files there, or you can select files from your computer to put on there, and you can do multiple files. But basically, most of the time, you wouldn't do that here. Um, you would do it through your post or your page. But it's just an idea that it's stored all here. Okay? Thank you.